Okay, so this is our GNS3 and uh, we want to import our window uh, client and window server to GNS3 and uh, we go to edit and preference here you can add uh, you can add uh, VMware here VMware here, VMware VM so nothing here okay and uh, if we look into the VMware workstation we have uh, uh, our window server and window client here so uh, you go back to our GNS3 and then you select on uh, VMware VM click on new so uh, this is uh, we need to run our VMware on local uh, PC so click next and then this is the VMware list VMware list we want to add uh, this three window to our GNS3 so I add window server first okay finish DC01 okay uh, I go to edit, edit some setting DC okay network, network adapter 1 and then here I se select here okay and then uh, we click on new we add another one window 10 Okay, it did new Windows event. Okay, so after we add this client, we apply and we have a uh, our window import from VMware to our GNS3 and then uh, we need to check on the network adapter okay so our window vmnet2 okay so vmnet2 we need to configure here you select on VMware uh, okay, VMNet 2. I want to add the uh, VMNet interface, so I want to have only nine nine uh, VMNet interface. Okay, so you just uh, select from VMNet 2 to VMNet 9. You can uh, add whatever the uh, interface uh, to the maximum is uh, 19 uh, in my case here I, I you can add letter okay in my case here I let's say 10 10 interface uh, VMnet okay you click on uh, configure and then the GNS3 will automatically uh, adding the VMware uh, VMnet for for us. Okay, so let wait for a moment. VMnet nine. Okay, now complete. We apply. And then okay so we try to we try to add uh, here so this is our DC our window client so let's try to take our window 10 client and then uh, cloud 
Okay, so I want to have uh, okay for the get. Let's say uh, okay switch. Okay, DC Windows when. Okay, I connect. So let's start our for the get firewall. Oh. Okay, so Okay, DC one also start our firewall. Okay, DC one, window ten, windows when. Okay, so let's go to our uh, for the get firewall console. wait for our firewall to start up Okay, so after a firewall start up, I start the switch, and then I start the window ten client. Okay, so. Let me show the interface. Okay, part two. This is part one. Okay, so new password admin. Okay. Uh, so everyone. We go to our configuration on FortiGet and we add IP address to this one. For example, uh, let's say 172.16.1.124. Okay. So now I add this IP. We go to edit port. Uh, edit port. Sorry. Edit port number two. Okay. Set mode to static. And then set IP one seven two one six one dot one twenty four set allow access ping http https okay so we so system interface okay now part two we have 
this IP address. Okay, so we go to our window client. Okay, window client. Here our window server. Here our window 10. Um, let me check. Let me check the IP address. We don't have any IP address, so we reconfigure our IPv4 IP address 192. Uh, sorry, 172.16.1. Dot. Let's say two. Okay. Two five five. Okay. Okay, so let's try to disable and wall to refresh our IP address. Okay, so let's try ping our firewall. Ping. 16.1.1 Okay, now we can ping our firewall. So I use uh, I use Windows 10 here, Windows 10 client to access the FortiGet firewall. Okay, so you can uh, go back to Windows 10 and we open our Microsoft app. Microsoft Edge browser we type in the IP address of our FortiGuard firewall uh, wait for a moment <laughs> okay okay so HTTP 172.16.1.1 Okay, here we go. So, our username admin, password admin. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, now we have uh, we have our FortiGet, we have our switch, window, uh, window client, uh, we have window 10 and window 7, and our uh, window server. So this is how we can add our window. Uh, to GNS3 and you can have a real practice uh, with uh, those uh, network environment not not only with a uh, FortiGet firewall, Cisco or Microtech so you also can test with uh, server and client as well so uh, next step I will uh, I will uh, configure this one as a domain controller and the ACP server so we can have more lab practice with the uh, Windows server uh, with FortiGet firewall okay so again uh, to to end this video I want to repeat again with our configuration here how to add our Windows server and Windows client we go to free friend Preference and then VMware VM 
we add our VMware, uh, we add our VM. So here our VM that we just add, and then we configure our uh, uh, VM interface here. Okay, so only two step that you need to remember. Okay, so. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you very much everyone that uh, uh, watching my video till the end. Uh, I hope to see you with my next video.